Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a fine day today. I hope all is well with you and your families. But today, guys, I want to walk around my garden with you all. And we're going to talk a little bit about aphids. Mm -hmm. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will be sharing my zone nine garden. Hello everyone, this is Linda. So I wanted to talk to you all today about aphids. Now, maybe about two years ago, I uploaded a video about aphids in the process of aphids but I'm gonna do it again all right so the first thing is that in the beginning of spring aphids fly in and all the aphids that fly in are females they are all females okay not only that those aphids are parthenogenesis. So what that means, they don't need a male to reproduce. Mm -mm. Aphids do not need a male to reproduce. So when aphids get on our plants, they make clones of themselves. Clones of themselves, 92 to be exact. And that 92 makes 92, each one of them. So, this is where the ants come in. The aphids waste is called honeydew. This is their waste. And the ants love this honeydew. Mm -hmm, they love it. And the ants will do everything to protect that aphid because they are giving them something that they love, right? By no means, at no time, do a ant eat aphids. Ants do not eat aphids. Ants do not hoard aphids. Ants do not bring them back to their colonies. They do not. Mm -mm. When they're dead, the ants go find more aphids because they want the honeydew from the aphid. Always keep yourself knowing and growing with this thing, right? We all fail at some points and some things happen because we are dealing with life real life plants are life and that's what happens in life there is life in death and you're gonna have it in the garden it is the process of an aphid okay you will grow more in your garden okay <laughs> This is my mustard greens, and I am going to harvest all of it. Now, yeah, I'm going to take them all up. Uh, a friend of mine is going to come, and she is going to pick them up on Sunday, and I'm going to clean out this bed and plant more. Yeah, I'm going to plant these cabbages in the beds because I think they need to be out of this pot but they are gorgeous. Yeah, they are gorgeous. This is that uh, red um, cabbage. These are my sweet potatoes. Yeah, the sweet potatoes. I just let them go, y'all. <laughs> my chickpeas, that's basil, but it is now beginning to make flowers the chickpeas so I didn't plant a lot but you know I'm excited I'm excited for them and this is one of my 
house plants that's outside. <laughs> yeah, I just let her stay. And this is my onions. Um, onions and garlic. Yeah. Now, the garlic is coming up slower. Yeah, than uh, the onions is. But that's okay. That's okay. I am... Um, I'm still excited for it. Yeah. So, when you have onions, you just want to loosen the soil around your onions like that. Yeah. And that helps them to come up. That's all. Yeah. Just so the soil could be, oh, that one didn't make it, I don't think. Uh, it's not so compact against them. Yeah. And just loosen it up like that. Now you can use a stick or I'm already sure to have a tool for this. <laughs> I'm more than sure, but y'all know. Mm -hmm. His fingers work real good. Yeah. Now I have garlic over here, too. Yeah. So, I think that's a garlic. <laughs> Yeah. All right. We'll do some over here. I think this is the last bunch we have to do over here. And this just help them come up. Get fat. Get swole. Get swole. All right. Now this is the garlic I planted for my chives. Yes, I haven't made a harvest from it, but I will. And this is my second year with this Sereno pepper plant. And yep, she okay. <laughs> yeah, my lemon balm. I'm gonna harvest a lot of it and dry it. And these are the little uh, seedlings that I planted and many of the flowers are blooming. The angel trumpets. Mm-hmm. Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. So they all are looking well today. Yeah. Now these are many of the seedlings I'm going to use to place in that bed where I'm going to take up all of those of the uh, mustard greens and the bok choy. I'm going to take them all up and I'm going to put all of these seedlings in there. Now this oriental pepper plant has been a part of my garden for about four years. Yep about four years and this yeah this is lemon thyme and I have grown to love this stuff and I I find myself using this in my meals daily daily when I come out to get onions and garlic yeah I get lemon thyme of course that's my lemongrass and I'm gonna have to move her yeah she she got to be moved but that's okay I'm gonna find a cool place for her yeah and I wanted to share my moringa yep this is what she do when you chop her <laughs> she looks beautiful but yeah, she's springing back to life, and this is what happens. Yeah. 
for listening. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Lady on. Thank you.